Hey guys, right now I will show you how you can import your coordinates from a spreadsheet into QGIS. You don't have to type each coordinate manually in QGIS. You have an option that is called Add Delimited Text Layer. It's this one in QGIS, it's this comma icon right here. You can press Ctrl Shift T or Layer add layer and add the limited text layer perfect it's this window right here we will be working with it in a moment but let's close right now because we need to edit this excel spreadsheet in a way that qgis can understand it so we will be working with this spreadsheet you can download it right below this video and it has all the state capitals for Brazil. In column B and C, we have latitude and longitude in decimal degrees. If you open this file and this is not what you are seeing, you have to change a quick setting and to do that, just click on File, Options, Advanced and check if the decimal separator is a dot and the thousandth separator it's a comma if it's not change it and press ok and this is how your coordinates should look like if they are in decimal degrees but also we can add coordinates that are degrees minutes and seconds column d and e right here or projected coordinates in utm for instance columns f and g we will discuss these other columns in a moment so the first thing you have to do is save this file as a new file to do that click on file save as let's save on my desktop and you will change it from excel workbook to csv utf8 it's comma delimited you will see that we have other CSV options right here, Macintosh, MS-DOS, but we are looking for CSV UTF-8. Let's select it, save. I will overwrite the file I already have, so let's click yes. Perfect. Now let's go to QGIS, click on this icon, and now we are going to select the file we have created. Let's click on these three dots right here, select the file, open, right here you can change the layer name, it automatically use the file name. This other option right here, it's the file encoding, I told you to save as UTF-8 because we have this UTF-8 encoding system right here. If you change to any other encoding system, you will see that the sample data is this table right here that displays how your data will look like after the import it will be all wrong so you can change it and you can see that sometimes we will have problems with special characters and to solve that you can try one by one or save as utf8 and select utf8 right here it's easier for you so the next setting is this one the file format instead of using csv as you may think you have to select regular expression delimiter and right here in this field you will insert a semicolon just like this one this is the way you tell QGIS to create a new column. Every time you have a semicolon in your data, it will create a new column. And if you open your file with Notepad, let's right click, open with Notepad, you will see that each column is separated by a semicolon. Perfect. So let's close, let's go back, and now we can go to record and fields options. We can discard some lines, by default it's zero, we are not discarding any line, but we can discard lines from the top. Perfect. We must activate this option right here. First record has field names, and this is true. The first line, it has the field names, capitals, 
latitude, longitude, and so on. You also must activate this option, detect field types, and make sure that the decimal separator is comma option is not activated since the decimal separator is a dot so you don't need to activate it next in geometry definition you have to select point coordinates if you select no geometry it will add just a table to your project let's make a test so add you will see just a table like this in your project let's select again this layer open and change it to point coordinates in the x field you have to select the column that has the values for x or longitude and the y field you have to select the column that has latitude values next you have to change the geometry crs you have to select the correct crs for these coordinates Right here, we are using a projected CRS, which uses meters as the unit. So these coordinates are in decimal degrees. We need to select a geographic CRS. In this case, let's click right here on this globe and select WGS84. You can type 4326 and select WGS84. Okay, and layer settings. You can activate use spatial index, it improves the performance of displaying and spatially selecting feature. And you can also activate this option right here, watch file. If you edit the original file, the spreadsheet, while QGIS is running, it will automatically change that on the software. So let's activate it and I'll show you in a moment. Now everything is ready. All you have to do is click on add. You can close it right now. You will see that instead of this table icon, you have a point layer. First of all, note that you can't edit this layer. You can't add new points or something like that. That's because it's a connection with the original file. So if you want to make changes to this layer, you need to export as a new vector file. And you know how to do that. Right click, export, save features as. Remember that option, watch file. Let's identify this point right here. It's Macapá. And if you go to the spreadsheet and search for that point, Macapá, and if you edit the longitude, let's just change the signal from negative to positive. So let's change it and save. You will see that in QGIS, when I click anywhere on the screen, this point will disappear and it's in this new coordinate right here. I change it from the western hemisphere to the eastern hemisphere let's change it again minus and save perfect the point is back to its original location just to show you that these are the correct locations for these points let's add a base map in hcmgis base map google maps Let's drag this layer to the bottom. Perfect, this is what we were looking for. Now, let's work with these other four columns. First, let's work with degrees, minutes, and seconds. We are still working with latitude and longitude, so we need to work with a geographic CRS, but we need to edit the cells in a way that QGIS understand. And this is how you should edit your data. For latitude, two digits for degrees, space, two digits for minutes, space, two digits for seconds, space, and a letter N or S indicating if it's on the north or the south pole. You have to do that for every point. So. Let's do this for these 
first two lines right here. And for longitude, the only difference is that you have to insert this zero right here. You need three digits for degrees. So even if your longitude is below 100, you need to insert this zero right here to the left. So your coordinates should look like this. Okay. And now let's save again. Let's go back to QGIS. Select this file again. Open. You will see that the same settings are already here. This is helpful for us. You don't need to change that every time. And now all you have to do is change the X and Y fields. Let's change longitude for longitude DMS and latitude decimal to latitude DMS. And you have to select this option right here, DMS coordinates. Let's click add. Okay, let's close. And you will see that only two points were created. These two cities, Aracaju and Belém. These two, the ones that I correctly added the coordinates. If you want all other cities, you need to edit these cells right here to look like this. And finally, we can import UTM coordinates. This is X and this is Y. Note that we can only import points from that UTM zone. In this case, I'm using the zone 24 South. So I'm going to import only the cities that are located in this zone. So let's go back to QGIS, select the file again, open, and now we have to select the correct CRS, the projected CRS. In this case, let's click right here, it's 31984. It's Sirgas 2000 UTM Zone 24 South, the projected coordinate system which these coordinates are represented. So let's select it. OK, you have to deactivate DMS coordinates and select the columns right here. X is the X column, Y, Y. Now let's click Add. Perfect. You can close it. Now you will see these four points added to our project. And these four cities are the ones that are inside UTM Zone 24 South. So this is it for this class. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you next video.